God is still saying something in that problem. Katwanda chali na chayogera mubuzibobo. Each so called problem before you. Bulichana chiti wa echizibungu maso go. It is a task in that way to find out the godliness, the mightiness. Rather, it is a success for you if you understand it. My name is Sarah Nabulia Kasujia. My name is Sarah Nabulia Kasujia. We Denmark. From Denmark. Standing here with me are my children. To my right is my last born, Michael. Michael Katongole. Michael Katongole. And to my left is Samuel Katongole Mandela. Is Samuel Katongole Mandela? I've come to testify to Jesus. And to thank him of the good things he has done for us in my family. Before coming to this church, I was involved in an accident. It was a fatal accident. It almost took my life. It was only by the grace of God that I survived. I came back to consciousness and found myself in hospital having spent three days in coma. I found that I had a neck collar but they had not yet known which part of my body had got a fracture. But like it is in Denmark if someone gets involved in an accident the first thing they do is to make the patient wear a neck collar to make sure they protect the bones of the neck. So afterwards I was taken for a scan and upon examination they found that three of my cervical bones were fractured. So I was taken for an operation this scar that you see this is the scar of the operation they inserted some plastic gadgets to make sure that they fix my bones of the neck together after the operation I was given this collar with a corset to support my bones and my back both at the same time it wasn't my back that was fractured but it was so painful very very painful the pain was so sharp to confirm that I got involved in an accident this is a letter from the insurance company normally these are received from the police report it's a report police is the one which picked me from there so they informed the insurance where they got me from so this confirms that I was involved in an accident Father, to prove that I came from Denmark, this is my residence identity card to show that that's where I stay. And the names on this card, Nabulia Sara Kasujia, Nabulia Sara Kasujia, which are my names. These are my names. The time I have spent, I've spent a period of six months. I had paralysis in the entire right side from the time I came back to consciousness. This entire right side of my body. Plus my right hand, I had paralysis. My thumb was paralyzed. I could not flex it. 
My doctor was telling me, try to flex your hand, but I could not. There is nothing I could do by myself. Given that I'm a hardworking woman, Jesus and enabled me to travel to Uganda. I arrived on Thursday. I am Nabulia Sala Kasuja. I'm from Denmark. I get an accident. I break my neck, three bones of my neck. I wake up in the hospital actually. And after that, when when they find out I break three bones, they are give and they are giving to me this neck collar to support my neck. They are operated me through here and they are fixed with the plastic. To, in my back bone. I can not turn my neck. I can't do anything but myself. I can't bend. I, think I can't turn. I have to turn all my body to look right or left. Now from now is a six month. I have a pain through and then. This is my medical form from Denmark. To confirm, I got an accident. Thank you, Jesus. Watch the lady now. Rising on her two feet. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you for delivering me. Thank you for healing me. The problem that I came with, I fractured the neck bones, I got an accident. Because because I experienced fracture of the bones of the neck. I could not turn the neck. And I underwent an operation in which the doctors gave me various neck collars to support the bones of my back. After man of God praying for me, I'm healed. My name is Mandela Samuel Katongole. Mandela Samuel Katongole. Besides me is my mother. Uh, after she suffered this fatal car crash, we were so worried. Um, I have a photo of her in the hospital. She was in the ICU. ICU, intensive care unit. 
Watch on the screen, brethren. The son is now showing us the photo of the mother while she was in the intensive care unit in hospital. Soon after that accident. We were so worried because we thought that any time they would call us and they tell us that she was dead. Why are you crying now? It was what I've been praying for all along and I've dreamed for this moment ever since she got the accident, man of God. I'm Katongole Michael. She is my mother. I am so happy because of what I've seen. This is, this is the day that the Lord has made for you know, me. Come around for the you know, I feel a lot of joy. <laughs> Before all that, there was a plot, plot. and uh, there was an old house. The land is here, and here is the old house. So there was an issue, and the people inside the house, they said, now, do you mean we should leave? We people we should leave? Because people have money. Man of God, what you've said is true. This plot of land, it's located in Dundu. And I bought it on behalf of my mother. She was not around. Just like you've, you've demonstrated, the old house is here. When we went to see the land, I asked my guardian with whom we bought the land why, why he chose to stay in an old house. And the land that I bought for my mother, it's this side exactly the way the prophet has said. I had a dream. Man of God, I've never seen this land and I've never gone there. But surprisingly, I got a dream and in the dream I saw a woman called Rose. This woman called Rose was claiming for the land, saying, you will not stay on this land. So I called, I called the guardian to my children. They are the people who got for me this land. I called her. And then I asked her, who is this Rose who is claiming for the land? And I told her, please go to that area in Dundu. Ask who is called Rose. Because I see her in my dreams coming to me, claiming for the land. Please go and find out who Rose is. And man of God, what you've said is very, very true. Ever since I bought that land, I have never got peace. The problem. Oh, was it? What is the cause? So this is the issue now. You may look at everything going on in your life. You blame this one and the other one. But the cause is far back. God helped you. Had you married this Muslim man? You would have been dead now. Hey! Man of God, the Muslim man is the father to my children. You survived. Because I see you. Eh? Man of God, what you've said is very, very true. This Muslim man was so jealous that one time he severely beat me with a very big piece of wood. I actually collapsed. I fell down like you have described. 
It's only when they poured water upon me that I gained my consciousness. Era yangu banari rubuto no mwana kwadda. Ne ruvamga lwa mieze na nakera ku machango mwana onga breeding old rubuto ne ruvam. He beat me severely by then I was pregnant holding the pregnancy of the follower to my son here and immediately I got a miscarriage. The police is ajanga na na bagamba nte musala wo makagange. The way he used to beat me the police would even come to intervene and he would tell them that you policemen you're not involved in my marital issues. Era msajja akatonda kali katanzi era nange nali musse kuba na mutema ko mutwe. Man of God, what you've said is true. He almost killed me, but I also almost killed him because I also cut his head. Because I prepared that panga for a period of three years. But whenever I would wake up to chop off his head, I would think about his children. One day when he came back in the night, he attacked me. He would be saying, but because I had put the panga under the bed and I wanted to cut off his head that I may run away. When he beat me up when he had come in at 3 a.m. in the night, I pushed him. When he fell, I pulled out the panga and I cut his head here up. When we went to the hospital the following morning, he lied to the people that he got an accident in which the car door is the one that hit his head. And for me to separate with that man, to leave that marriage, this son of mine was eight months old. Man of God, I just, I just ran away from that Muslim man's home. I didn't even pick anything of mine. I just ran away from that home. Because I was um, wondering, you are still alive? Because in the order, this Muslim man was supposed to kill you. My name is the Reverend Aaron Thu from Kenya. And uh, I'm just shocked. I'm just wondering. I'm, I'm short of words. I don't know how to explain it. How the man of God is able to go so many years. She, she looks uh, a bit gone in years, but the man of God is able to trace the root of the problem since she was six years old. The fight my mom has talked about uh, where she cut his head. She didn't know that I was listening to them fighting. Because they, they began off as usual because they used to have very, very severe and ugly fights. And before I knew it, my dad was saying, Om kaza anzise, Om kaza anzise. And my mom ran out of the house. Before I knew it, I heard my father saying, This woman has killed me, this woman has killed me. And after she ran out, my elder sister came in and started nursing my dad. And uh, like she has explained, after the hospital and everything. And the day she was leaving, I remember she had only a very small bag. And I told her, Mom, can I go with you? And she told me, uh, My mother told me, let me go to the shop and I bring for you biscuit. And it took so many years. And when, uh, before she came back with the biscuits. <laughs> And by the time she came back, my dad had passed on. But before he passed on, he always looked for my mother everywhere. All her relatives. And every time he came back home, 
he was always so angry at everyone in the house. Therefore, what a man of God has said is true. Because him marrying your mom, the family of the father did not accept. What you've said is true. My husband's family never accepted my marriage. And, and they, they proposed for him another lady. She was a bit short. Man of God, what you've said about that lady is true. The medium lady you've prophesied about, she was brought to me as a housemaid. And Man of God, what happened one day about that shortish or medium lady you've prophesied about, it is very true. When I was having the pregnancy of this son of mine, when I came from hospital, I did not knock. I just entered my house and I found my sister-in-law discussing with that medium-sized lady who had been brought as a maid and she was saying that my husband gives me all the money and this lady was offended at the fact that my husband would listen to me concerning the financial issues. Now I can do everything I could not do before. Before I could not turn my neck. I could not turn my neck to either side. I could not bend. I could not squat. But now I can do all this. Let's clap for Jesus. My right side that was paralyzed. You can see it's functioning very well. I got completely healed. And my neck. My neck got healed on that very day when the man of God laid his hand upon me. I also thank Jesus for healing my mom and Prophet Samuel Kakande. The glory and honor I give back to Jesus Christ. My name is Mandela Samuel Katongole. I'm from Makere. Uh, as you've seen on the screen, that was my mom. Uh, just this recent Thursday. She was in a lot of pain. But today she's very, very healed. And I want to thank so greatly the Lord Jesus Christ for healing my mother. And I want to thank the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, for always praying for us tirelessly. Because because it takes a lot. We give back all the glory and honor to the Almighty God. I thank God since I came from Uganda, I get completely healed. I was in Uganda in 2019. I could not turn my neck, I could not do nothing. And after that, a man of God is somewhere in Kakande. He came and I was crying. Please, please, man of God, he praying for me. I need to be here. And after that, just the, 
it was like one touch and I get completely ill. Since when I came back, I'm doing well. My brother who, who booked ticket for me to Uganda because I could not do my set of things by my hand. So I have to use my brother here. He knows what I was passing through. I am here from Olpo in Denmark. This is about the healing of my dear sister in Jesus Christ, my sister Napoleon Saturn. In June last year, she was involved in a severe car accident and she had three fractures in her spine. After healing of the Danish doctors, she still suffered a lot of headache. She couldn't move freely, neither her back nor her neck. Even her right arm was of no good. So I helped her book a ticket to Kampala, Uganda, where she would visit the Kakanti Ministries. Pastor Samuel Kakanti had prayed for her. She got healed immediately. It was so amazing. Now, where she's back in Denmark, I have seen my own eyes, how she got healed, how she now can move freely. And it is amazing to see. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos and updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you will receive notifications of our latest videos. Press your subscribe button and notification button today. Thank you.